a lot of professions seem very fancy on the outside uh, and a lot of professions seem boring on the outside but it can be the opposite when you actually do the job a lot of fancy professions can be very boring and a lot of boring professions can be very interesting people always talk you can never silence them matlab kya hai na logo ka kaam hai bolna to ek point ke baad na i have just tried to mute it it takes time it's not something which happens immediately what is a typical day in your life in my life yes sir so i'm involved in three businesses mm-hmm. um most of my time goes at owl which is a media company we do a lot of Well, first of all, welcome to Polaris School of Technology. You recent, you just had a session. How was it? It was amazing. I'm super happy, and the energy of the students is incredible. Loved it. Thank you. So to start off, I would like to ask an advice for the students, be it in any field. Uh, there are some students who don't really know what they want to do for the rest of their lives, or they haven't really figured it out if they want to do need, if they want to do MBBS, if we more specific. or they want to be an engineer you have actually worked in many different environments so what advice would you give to those kids that are still figuring it out it's a very good question i have a two step formula to understand anything that even as a business today when we think of starting something new yeah. or when i was young and i was trying to figure out what i should be doing these two things can help you a lot number 1 a lot of professions seem very fancy on the outside Uh, and a lot of professions seem boring on the outside but it can be the opposite when you actually do the job a lot of fancy professions can be very boring and a lot of boring professions can be very interesting so what i recommend the person is if let's say you want to be an xyz role at a certain company or a particular job talk to that person and ask a specific question which is hey how does a day in your life look like how does a week in your life look like no jargons no fancy words simply ask them what do you do on a day to day level i'm a trade financial analyst sounds cool but ask them what do they do on a day to day level do you like does it interest you is it motivating you to learn more is it seeming aspirational to you great if not move on to the next profession understand that when you understand the problems that the person solves on a day to day level then you have an exact idea of what that profession is all about hence asking this question day in a life is really important second if you don't have access to these people there are many videos that you will find online where people show this you just have to separate the ones which are mm. for the sake of putting it and the real raw ones so this is what i would recommend once you have identified i would also recommend that you try to execute something because when you do something yourself only then you truly truly have an idea whether this is for me or not so to continue with your statement what is a typical day in your life looks like in my life yes sir so i'm involved in three businesses mm-hmm. um most of my time goes at owl which is a media company we do a lot of ad films for large brands social media podcasts influencer marketing tech campaigns so most of my day is um 50% is involved in the team operation so i spend a lot of time with the team whether it's training them uh taking their questions just like i was taking a bunch of your questions mm-hmm. uh working with them to figure out client problems and the rest 50% is spent in acquiring new clients talking to more clients understanding their requirements and how can owl help them um i'm also a content creator and i'm also co-founder of a school so on weekends i also sometimes go to the lit school which is in jayanagar spend time with the students i i continue to take at least one session a month there i love teaching and um i create content so one day a week also is content creation day which is i do a lot of recording just like this so over time i've become of course comfortable to mm-hmm. the camera so these are a few things that i do on a very very daily level um there's a lot of travel involved because those 50% of the client meetings can also happen in any part of the country 
sometimes even in the world right so you have to travel a lot so this is what a day in my life looks like so your job is very good for traveling <laughs> <laughs> uh, so so when i was talking to the like kids over here <clears throat> the one question that they had was why did you name your company owl <laughs> they didn't even they they were like we want to ask that uh, one okay. specific question so um when i was a freelancer and one bad habit that i had yeah i would not take care of my health at all and i would sleep really really late sometimes at 5 am 6 am even 9 am right like i would just work the entire night and wake up post lunch and that habit kind of continued and my first agency didn't work out so i was like you know what um the second one also might not work out so might as well put something in the name that has a part of me because we may not even grow beyond one person so hence i would i wanted to do something around owl jo bhi domain mujhe available dikh gaya wo maine kar diya because a lot of the domains around owl were not available very interesting so the next question i would like to ask you uh, is about social media influencer in this gen z age we know that there are many terms linked to a social media influencer one being is relevant if you are relevant your content is watched by people you, you are known by people but after a certain age or a certain mm. time your relevancy decreases mm. so how do you take that like what is your plan to stay relevant see as a content creator you need to evolve on a very regular basis what is working today may not work tomorrow look at bollywood right mm. uh, recently horror comedy movies are working so well but are you seeing the romcoms that the likes of saif ali khan used to do back when we were kids no. no so content evolves because our content preferences change very very regularly the creators who do not evolve as per what the what the audience needs are the ones who become irrelevant mm. but if they evolve with the audience if they evolve with the interest of the audience they can stay and continue to stay relevant throughout look at tanmay bhat he has mm-hmm. created so many pieces of content but has stayed relevant karan johar is a great example stayed relevant because he's always tried to do what the people mm-hmm. you know these days are looking at like two sides of a coin being a social media influencer obviously comes with a lot of negativity as well how do you handle the negative comments or the negative feedback that usually comes along yeah i mean sometimes it's very hard to ignore on your good days you can ignore the negative comments uh, but what i have realized over time is that people just people always talk you can never silence them matlab wo kehte hai na logo ka kaam hai bolna yes to ek point ke baad na i have just tried to mute it it takes time it's not something which happens immediately uh, but honestly i am a straight general male i get the least amount of hate on the internet if you look at the dms of a popular female creator the hate that they get is so much more so i have a lot of respect for people and you know i've just realized that people on the internet are not kind at all Yeah. because you can just give anybody hate by hiding behind this no dp private account exactly right people love love dropping hate so it's just sad uh so yeah honestly i don't even get so much hate i all my empathy to people who do get so much more hate eventually you just mute it you focus on your work because at the end of the day you are you're doing good you have you know you have so much love coming in from so many people It it doesn't affect you after a point of time. Very nice answer. Uh, so then now let's talk about you. You have obviously worked in some very different environments, but in being in this en- era, there is a lot of technology coming in day after day, and a lot of changes happening in every industry. So how do you manage those changes, and how do you make your way through in, and like you know how do you make the process so seamless for you? I I'm not emotionally attached to my work anymore. I am attached to my company but not the work we do. What that does is it allows me to pivot and move into directions which are also gaining traction. For example, we started our tech division 4 years ago but for the first 3 years it was it grew decently well 
But this year alone, we have done some incredible tech projects. We did, we did one of the largest ER campaigns with Zepto. Augmented reality is still new, but if yes. you have ordered a Zepto bag, you'll see a QR code that's done by us. We made an AI jingle creator for Vodafone. Uh, we made an AI chatbot for Boat. We did this interesting campaign with Gulshan Grover. All these things are tech-led and tech-powered. So all these things are new for us, but we very quickly learned, partnered with the right companies and did something which was new and interesting. People who are super attached ki, I will only do this type of work because this is how my identity is defined, end up falling behind when it comes to walking with the trends, walking with where the world is moving. Hmm. So this is how you do it. So for the last question, will you give any advice to the people or the kids in general who are like, you know, planning to make their names in social media, they actually want to put some kind of content out there. Don't expect anything the first six months and the first 50, 60 videos. Just post. I gave this advice to somebody, but that person still came to me after uploading two videos. Hey, I'm not getting views. I'm not getting anything. That's fine. It's a long game. It takes time. The sad reality or the harsh reality of social media is that your first video can also go viral, mm. but I wish it doesn't. I wish your 50th video goes viral because by then you would have understood what it truly takes to be a social media creator, which is consistency. Mm. And then when the sixth one does not go like, okay. let's chuck it, I'm not going to do it. You know, so just wait for the point when things will start working out for you because most people don't go beyond those 20, 30 reels. So yeah. you'll already be in the top 2-3% by posting enough and more content. Thank you, sir. It was an absolute pleasure. To Thank you me. so much. Thanks for having me. Thank, Thank you. you.